I'm going to quickly tell you guys about this war. It's the Nagorno-Karabakh War. It took place in Caucasia, Azerbaijan. And, yeah, let's go for it. So, for a while, Soviet Union, these two regions didn't really fight it out until the 60s. They started having ethnic conflicts. And it didn't erupt into full-scale violence. Armenians hated the Azerbaijanis. And the Azerbaijanis, they hated the Armenians. They couldn't really go out and exterminate each other full scale and fight between the different Soviet republics. But then when the Soviet Union collapsed, it was full scale fighting. Um, so they took away the autonomy of Nagorno-Karabakh, which is a region of, um, well, was a region of Azerbaijan. Now it's what it declared itself its own republic. So, they voted to become their own country, so they held an independence referendum, really. And, yeah, and then the fighting took place. So, you've got these uh, Azerbaijanis, they try to surround the capital, but, you know, the Armenians that lived there kind of fended it off. And, um, they fight for a while. There's a lot of random fighting, you know, I'm not going to go through this, because I, I did this first, and it didn't want to save, but I ended up with 20 minutes of footage. Okay. So, honestly, they get support from Armenia proper. Armenians themselves launch an offensive through a tiny corridor into, um, through Azerbaijan to reach the exclave. Turkey starts saying crap, but they don't do anything. The Azerbaijanis launch another offensive towards the capital. It gets beaten back by the air force of the Nagorno-Karabakh. They then launch an offensive towards crucial regions that generate power within the place. I don't think that was necessarily the point, but I can't remember the name of it, right? Um, it's a major failure as well. Then what happens is the Russians are involved in this war as well. They're supporting the Armenians. Okay, here's a map. Um, how the ethnic position, ethnic stuff there. Okay, well, after the uh. Nagorno-Karabakh launches its own offensives into Azerbaijan proper, really. The um, Turks get very vocal, but they're not going to touch Russia. Russia, pretty much. They don't tell them to be quiet, but um, they're not going to do anything. Let's be honest. No one's going to take on Russia if you're Turkey. Um, they try to go peaceful, but it doesn't work out, right? Um, Europe, I mean, Western powers, more, I mean, Western nations, and give more weapons to, um, Armenia, but the Muslim nations of the general area give it to Azerbaijan. Um, really, I, their armies were kind of matched, I'd say it's more on the side of Armenia, but that's, and Karabakh, but they're pretty much the defender, which is going to be better. Um, but, you know, they do launch offensives out of it, so they're not always the defender, and they do pretty well. Um, both, both sides did lack some vital, you know, necessities during the war, but they made up for it. Um, they got foreign support, like, I mean, foreign aid. Though oil, lack of oil did really hurt the, um... Armenians, and not so much on the as on the Azeris, Azerbaijanis, they the Baku oil fields there. Um, um, I'm just reading. You're learning with me. Okay, let me see here. So one to the eighteen, the one on the left and the one there. There's their amount of ships. I mean, not ships, uh, airplanes. Clearly, the uh, Zeri Air Force is extremely better. Amazing. I mean, it shows that not necessarily all. You know, you don't necessarily need air support to win. Um, this war really ended 
So, in 1994, it really ended, right? So, you've got this bunch of conflicts that been going on for decades. Finally broke out in the war, and they can't stop the Armenian Nagorno-Karabakh. There you go. So, you see there, it was the little lined area there is um, what Nagorno-Karabakh originally was. But there's the territory it gained um, through the offensives there. There's Azerbaijan's little exclave there beside Turkey. It's a narrow strip. They got supplies through there. Then out of the Armenian areas, you see the orange. Well, that is the offensives they launched and took those regions, right? So it was a major, outstanding success for um, the Armenians. Near the end of the war, though, um, the Azerbaijanis got really desperate. They're recruiting pretty much kids and, um, but they can't really win. They're pretty much screwed. And eventually in 1994, they do agree to a ceasefire. Hopefully I will not lack storage to do this. And, no, it is a ceasefire, it is not a surrender. It's pretty much, though, what I'd really call a surrender. There's fighting till today. Um, every two years or so, you hear something... So, like, I think the last fighting went down in 2016. There was a lot of stuff. You can go search the Nagorno-Karabakh you want. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Um, currently, though, it's a really weird thing. Um, they're lo slightly losing territory to the Azerbaijanis. But it's not, like, major territory. It's more like... Hectares, hectares, like acres of land. Honestly, it's just cutting away at their territory slowly. Um, but the Azerbaijanis aren't able to really do anything with them or take it back. Um, I don't think they're going to do anything soon. They're the Armenia doesn't want to go to war, and, um, what is it, Azerbaijan, too cowardly. Just we'll look at the weird borders, though, here, what you're dealing with. White, there is, no one lives there, not enough live there. And you see so many weird ethnic groups there. Well, that's been the Nagorno-Karabakh War. Note that I'm doing a series where, you know, I talk about other wars and whatnot that are lesser known. So you won't be hearing one about World War One or World War Two soon or and stuff like that. Because everyone knows about that. Everyone knows the gist. If there's a special battle, I might talk about it if no one's heard about it or it's very interesting. Um, other than that, I don't know. I'm looking for out-of-the-way wars in, like, Asia. Like... Not too far back, not like Samurai Ages, and not like Medieval Night Ages in Europe, but more like 1700s up kind of things. Gun Ages is what I'm looking for. Um, if you guys, if you guys know any wars, like small scale things, normally these wars aren't major, millions die kind of things, right? Um, just tell me. There's some border skirmishes with Canada and America that I might talk about. Stuff in Africa. Um, other stuff. And there's a lot of stuff in Caucasia and the Middle East, which is very uh, a good source. Also, there's Transnistria. If I, haven't, if I haven't talked about that already, if you want to see some other videos about wars or rebellions, just go, you got to really scroll back. I was doing something like this before, but um, I just... I got tired of it. Um, see you guys next time.